We're learning some new details about a first degree domestic murder case out of Pawtucket last month. As we reported, Matthew Dufresne is accused of killing his 84 year old grandfather, Joseph Corsi, at his Eddington Street home on March 11th. Dufresne remains behind bars. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie has the details from newly filed court documents, including what police said about the night of the incident. Alex? Well, Kim, court documents I obtained show that on the night in question, police found Joseph Corsi lying dead at the bottom of the first floor staircase unresponsive. They say his grandson, Matthew Dufresne, was barricaded on the second floor for some time, and police had reason to believe that he had a gun. Pawtucket police describe a grisly scene at this Eddington Street home last month where 34 year old Matthew Dufresne is accused of killing his grandfather, Joseph Corsi. I obtained the police report, which shows officers were alerted by dispatch of possible firearms inside the home at the time of the incident. A police narrative says the caller was in Florida and had watched the assault on camera they have in their home. Officers say upon arrival, they found an elderly man bloody on the stairs with a large laceration to his neck. They found a small knife and base baseball bat nearby. At that point, police say they heard someone upstairs, drew their firearms, and shouted for Dufresne to come downstairs. Police say he eventually surrendered and was wearing little clothing at the time of his arrest. Police were seen taking several bags of evidence out of the home that night. I obtained the search and seizure warrant, which shows police located, quote, numerous items of interest. The report didn't go into detail about those items, but mentioned detectives located a small 22 caliber revolver. Police said since Dufresne was on the second floor for some time before finally surrendering, he would have had access to the gun during a standoff with officers. Police believed there was probable cause for a search warrant to be issued for DNA samples from Dufresne to compare with swabs taken from the revolver. Now, I checked in with the Department of Health and learned Corsi's cause of death is still pending. Dufresne remains held without bail and is due back in court next month. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.